can do. Wait, can you see that? It's kind of like got uh, dark pans, but. I wonder how good this looks. Oh, I don't want to show my dirty ass room though. Hmm. Need more light. I'm gonna get more light. I don't have nothing that produces light. Where's that one? Where's the lid at? I put it somewhere precarious. Oh, this is where I put it. So it gets hotter faster. Oven's preheated. Maybe some dishes. Okay. Everything's so dark, it sucks. Well, flashlight. Turn on. Okay, I can't turn on my flashlight. That's fine. Okay, um... I'm gonna need some garlic. Some here. Okay. I need to peel some garlic first. And then crush some garlic. Hmm, I also need like, some bacon, but. Okay, so I'm going to slow cook some sausages here, and that's going to be the base of uh, the oils. I like to give you a lot of oil for my carbonara. And basically, uh, a carbonara is uh, noodles, or like like a like pasta, um, some type of oil, an egg. And you can like incorporate like different types of meats into it. And I think people would normally like to do is to incorporate um, like uh, sausages or like bacon or oily things really. I'm gonna add two bacons, I mean two sausage links here. I'm 
let's let's cook that. I don't have bacon. I won't use bacon otherwise, but it's almost the same thing. I'm gonna put my sausage up. I can't believe it. My grandma's door is locked. It's never locked. Yeah, so I guess the sausage is cooking here. And it's just going to slow cook. I'll get some oil from that. Come up a little bit, and then also working on my garlic. Can you see that? I'm breaking up. No, uh huh. Gotta move you this way. So we're gonna slow cook these sausages because I want them like not crispy because it's gonna throw off the flavor of everything else, but um, well cooked. And then I'm starting my garlic. This is already garlic out here. I don't think so though. Can you guys hear me? Guess not. Oh, these are really green. These are real green. 
Oh, let me see. What are you making? Okay, I'll tell you right now. I'm going to make uh, a carbonara. A sausage carbonara, which I've never seen done before. But I'm improvising, because usually it's done with bacon, or some type of like fatty meat, and then the oils are used to, uh, to kind of uh, help uh, congeal the egg that you would use it later on to like a type of sauce. So basically a carbonara is, uh, was made like in the Roman times and the thing was just pasta, egg and, and oil and it would just be like a, like a really like easy, creamy, cheap, creamy, like a poor man's spaghetti, right? I think one big garlic's fine. It's pretty big, pretty good garlic, garlic here. And but nowadays people kind of elevated the dish and they use like bacon or maybe parmesan instead of like breadcrumbs, right? For the, for, um, some more texture, and then, but today we're using sausages. It has the same properties as bacon, just like a different sweeter flavor, which I think could probably accent the dish pretty nicely. Um, okay, we're gonna, do I want to dice this? Yeah, I'll dice it. Keep it green too, so I like garlic flavor. What if I just cut myself? How bad would that be? Yeah, right now I'm boiling water and stuff. I'm also gonna have bread and other other things. Right, I'll show you right now. I'll show you my ingredients. Oh, also, I also got a secret ingredient too. You're gonna like that one, fish. The secret ingredient. Or well, maybe you won't. Maybe you're all swapped into my house because you won't. You know, because you're not gonna like it. Just know that they were your friends in another life. My secret ingredient. Okay. Like, that's good garlic right there. That's, that was a, that was a lot of garlic. Let me take you over here to my secret ingredients. Do we have? I got the egg cheese and I got shrimp and bread. So I'm gonna use. Hey, thank you, thank you for the follow. Um, I'm actually I only need like two eggs here or three eggs. I use the two only. Put the rest in the fridge. Yeah, so we got sausages going, and then we have the water going for the pasta, and we have bread, and we have shrimp. So this is gonna be like a sausage shrimp carbonara. That's gonna be creamy, cheesy, and eggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that good? It kind of has to be this way because my phone's kind of weird. I have like a scuff setup, but yeah. And depending on onions, but I don't think that's like the theme of the dish. Like you can put whatever you want in food, right? But I don't think I, I try to stay true to what things are, and then after I kind of perfected what what um, the, the the point of the dish is, then I like to uh, like I kind of experiment and change things up on my own. But right now, I don't think I have a good understanding of the carbonara, and it, it it's an easy dish to make, but it's also like a really hard one to make as well. If you want a perfect. I do have the lights turned on. It's just because everything's black, and I wanted to use my grandma's light on her phone, but she's locked her door, which is uncharacteristic of her. Um, we're gonna turn this light, man. Help out a little bit. The other light. Wait, I need a lamp. That probably helps. I'm gonna need a lamp too. Hold on, I'll be right back.
light bulbs just sitting around. I can't like a fucking lamp from my front room. It should help a lot. Okay. I'll show you guys right now. Looky, looky. I just got a fucking lamp. Alright, this, this is a lot better now, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be real sweet. Um, real sweet. I thought it'd come up. It's gonna come up kind of weird, but let's see. The garlic's done. Just off to the side. I don't think I need this knife anymore. But I might need it. Um, I just start debanging my shrimp. That's all I do. I have to show my, um, my soup now. Alright, that's some boiling water there. Um, there's no room. There's no room now. The lamp's in the way. There you go. That's fine. And yeah, I'll put my pasta in. Do I want to? Um, yeah, half of this. So I want leftovers. Now put salt. Deveining and peel my shrimp. Alright, this shrimp's already um, peeled and deveined pretty much, so. Yeah, that's gonna be easy now. Uh, I think one time in culinary school, I had to devein and peel like hundreds of shrimp. Taught me a lot that it did. Okay, let me stir my soup. Let me stir my soup. My fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Okay, let's see what this is. the pasta when it's done, I gotta use the pasta water. Well, I guess I could just use both, huh? I just kind of keep it the way it is. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes, 
what I'm doing the whole peeling and deveining thing. I um. I uh. I throw. I don't. I don't do it anymore. I used to throw away like the food and then keep like the part you discard. I just get mixed up and confused because I'm going so fast. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. And then we're also gonna have bread too. And I didn't even know, like, literally, I thought about like the things we had in the fridge, and then like, like, uh, recipes came to mind. You know, it's just when you get familiar with cooking and comfortable cooking, it's just like, uh, you just, you just see the lines. You know, you just, you just see the, the what you can make. And I knew we had shrimp. I knew we had pasta. I knew we had cheese. I don't know why I washed my hands, but I'm just going to uh, do this again. But anyways, get a new rag. It's not supposed to happen. Because I think I'm just going to cut the, cut the shrimp in half because they're so big. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut them in half. I want them like long, but I don't want them like a bit in chunks. The other thing that I learned in cooking, it's like you want everything to be different, um, like like dimensions. So like let's say if I'm making like a vegetable soup, like I'm not gonna cut them all in like squares. Like I'll cut the I'll cut the the, the the zucchini in like diamonds. I'll cut the carrots in like circles maybe, it'll be easier for carrots. I'll cut the, the the potatoes in like triangles, you know, some crazy shit. And just so it's easier for your palate to distinguish the different flavors, and it adds like a, you, you just present them better, you know? You can think of it like, uh, oh, like someone's a good speaker, but if you give them a suit, you know? It doesn't make their speaking better, but it makes how you receive it better. It makes it more believable. So that's an easy way to like elevate your dishes would be to like like if you're making like like a type of like soupy bowly thing or like a or like a, like a burrito maybe and you and you have like like a lot of different components make sure they're all unique in the way that they're prepared and cut and if you're cooking things too and, you, and then you're going to incorporate it together make sure you cook it separately so that the flavors are more um distinguished as well when you send out Seems like a lot of shrimp now, but fuck it. I'm gonna spoil myself. Okay, I think I don't need a knife anymore. Wash my hands. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. It's not gonna be like anything else I've ever I tested or any other carbonara that I've tasted before. Kinda excited about it. Done. I can put it on my bread now, I think. This might be too, it, it 
cheese that I have might be too much. I think. But I'll, I'll go. I'll eye it as I go. Um, Are you guys gonna eat too? Am I making you guys hungry? Red. Big boy. Sometimes when I'm doing too many things at once, I just pick up everything that I need in my hands and I walk around with it and it's not, it's not a good thing. So what I mean by that would be, um, like, uh, like, like a lot of times you can, there's a lot of different, um, uh, ingredients you can use to have the same effect. So like oil, butter, mayonnaise are a lot of things that you can use. And, uh, so I have oil from the sausages. I have but I put butter on the shrimp here already. But what I don't have is mayonnaise. And I'm probably going to use that on the, on the bread. So everything stays diversified and different. It flows well. Because honestly you want something to be samey and, and get, get boring. I'm just trying to get like a get the texture on it. That's good. And also, like cooking, it can be overwhelming. It, it can be because, like, you, like you, you get like, like ten things going on at once, you know. It doesn't have to be, because uh, it's, it all depends on how you um, organize it. Like, in, in reality, cooking is just one thing after the other. It's just steps, you know. Uh, like a math question, like a math equal equation. Like math is only hard because it's just hard to remember the formulas, and you don't really care. But like, if you know the, the formulas, like, you just, it's just a process, really, and then the time it takes to get there. I'm going to let my sausage cook a little bit more. Well, 
chunk of my bread. I think I'll have one piece. Well, I want thinner. One piece, two piece, three piece. Right here, we good. Spurs getting messed up. I mean, it happens. I'm just gonna do it haphazardly. I don't really care. It's fine. I mean, I'm just making it for me, right? was not a good idea, but no harm, no foul. It's like a little bit of mayonnaise here and there, you know? This is the only like, normal bread piece here. Now, if I was making this for somebody, I would throw this away and start again. But I'm not. It's for me, so I don't really care. Yeah, I saved a little bit of pasta water. So I'm gonna throw in my shrimp and the garlic, and then we'll start the process. Okay. Bread's going in. Alright. I need this here Got my pasta water. I have my new towels. Then we got my eggs. I think I might need one more egg. I need one more egg, just in case. I don't feel good later. Sticks, make sure they all spread apart. Because these shrimp 
a little thick and you don't want that. Like is it already sticking right here? That was too close. Alright, they're already cooking pretty well. Yeah, trip it fast. And I'll put on my garlic. Watch this part, okay? Watch this part, like... Okay, we're gonna go kinda quick now. Butter just to help out with the creamy process. Get a spoon for the butter. Okay. Yeah, cutting the shrimp shrimp half was a good call, I think. Okay, the shrimp's ready to go. Everything's ready. And now we add in our pasta and water and then the eggs. Maybe too much pasta, that's fine. So it's all in there. I need my trash can. Where they come together here. Like a little bit of butter. Okay, it's fine. Then we'll put the spin over here. And then start cracking some eggs. That's right, I could crack eggs with both hands, one handed. I'm just showing off. Cause I can. Throw it around with some cheese. Just throw it off like it. Too much egg, I think. Yeah, too much egg or too much water. That's fine. We gotta, you gotta go fast and keep stirring so that egg doesn't congeal and it stays loose. I don't think I need milk. If I just keep like reducing and cooking, it'll, be, it'll, it'll come together better. Salt in here. And then a lot of pepper. Uh, pepper, there you are. Another thing, the pepper kind of like uh, is really good in carbonara. It loves carbonara. So you gotta make sure you have a lot of pepper and carbonara. 
And also, it kind of just, like looks better too. You have pepper in it, like the the little black dots kind of make it look like more presentable. Yeah, I think I did a good job on this carbonara, actually. Um, I wouldn't have used so much pasta, and I would use like one less egg, and then. I would have, um, yeah, it's kind of the other half, but I would have, what should I say, use more, one more sausage left. Overall, it's coming out pretty good. Alright, let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Give me more salt. And the sauce needs to come together more. But yeah, you can see like the sauce right now, how it's like, like it is sauce. Like I use egg to make a sauce, which is pretty cool. down just a little bit more. Needs more pepper. And I like the more cheesy, so I'm gonna get a little more juice. I didn't expect to use this much pasta, so. It's got a lot of pepper and a good amount of salt. salt. And that's good. Yeah, it's starting to come together now. Yes, this is what I wanted. That's good. How much is this good? This is just like leftover stuff. This is just stuff in my fridge, man. Like, you guys can make this too. It's really easy. Not yet. I don't know if you guys can see it on my phone resolution. But the sauce is coming together now, and you see little black spots. spots. It doesn't need milk, so I'm gonna put away this stuff and get some more cheese. Oh, <laughs> I don't want too much cheese. I don't want to be cheesy. Like, I want to be cheesy, but. Cheese focused, you know. And how you how you're supposed to present this would be like um you would make like a nest, which would be like like a like a like a skewer, and you you get you get a glob of pasta and you make like a little. Like a nest, you know, you spin it and pull it up, and then and then you you push down, you make a depression in the center, and then you get a yolk, uh, egg yolk, and you put it in the center, and yeah, that's how you serve it. Just a raw yolk, and of course it's supposed to be like really fucking hot when you serve it, and and that yolk kind of makes everything good. I think I put too much cheese though, but I like things cheesy, but for me this isn't much. Ultra cheesy. Good amount of cheese, I think. Hmm. That's really fucking good. Wow. And put. I didn't salt the noodles enough. That's what it was. Turn this on. Let's review. Let's review what I did wrong. Besides the proportions, like just flavor wise, I think everything kind of came out right. Right. Just get a little bit of everything. Let's see.
The flavors and the textures are all there, so I'm not complaining. Yep, I'm happy. I'm bad! Uh oh. I was like, this is missing something. Red. Oh, perfect. Mmm. Alright, let's get a plate now. I messed up. I know. Some of y'all amateurs out there might not know what I messed up on, but but y'all more experienced people out there might well know. I didn't preheat my my bowl, so now it's not cold. Well, now it's not hot. It's cold. But everything's really hot already, so I don't know. Use this. I did it so wrong. Now I'm paying the consequences. Oh fuck, why am I like this? What's wrong with me? <laughs> it is getting cold now. Oh, I'm so sad. That's how you're supposed to do it. Not like how I did it. I did it in a buffoon way. In a buffoonish way. I kind of want to wake my mom up and be like, Mom, eat this. But then she'll probably get mad at me if she doesn't get enough sleep. There's all flavor right here, man. Like, I want all of this. Give me. Give me. Mmm. Mmm, yum, yum. Mmm, I'm happy. Happy food, happy food, happy me. Okay. Store this for later. I got seconds on here. Okay, yeah, I did this really well. This came out really well. I'm happy. I am happy. <laughs> it's the penny, don't get anything. I have to. I cooked so I could taste the spoons. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this like this and eat it because I'm freezing cold. And I'll deal with this later. They're gonna be like, why is there a lamp in the kitchen, Nick? What are you doing? Why is there a mess? They don't understand. Oh, wait, this is actually a light dynamic here. Alright, thanks, guys. Bye bye.